again, nice to see you here on my new video. And this video is about which color profile you should use on the Phantom 4 Pro or any other DJI drone. And to be a bit more specific, it's uh, more about a comparison between D-Log and the Cinelike and why in my opinion you should get used to both profiles depending on the situation that you want to use it in. Let's start directly. I'm at this wonderful place here. It's a rice field behind me, directly at the Pigstone Beach on Bali. It's a bit north from Changu. It's a very nice place here. We've been here last weekend already with the dojo community. It was very nice to chill out at the beach here. And yeah, when you go just um, like, what is it, 50 meters behind it, then you see those awesome views here with all the rice fields. It's just amazing. I love that about Bali, especially about Changu. You just um, drive maybe 20 or 30 minutes north from Changu and you're in the pure nature and it looks everything so nice so it's definitely my recommendation recommendation to go here but anyway let's talk about the color profiles from the Phantom 4 Pro and yeah I would say any other DJI drone like the Mavic Pro and I, I don't know if the, it counts for the Inspire I never flown an Inspire so I want, don't want to say something wrong here but for the Mavic and the Phantom 4 Pro it's definitely usable so and um, what I recommend here is for color profiles is to work with two color profiles like the first one, I, I did another video about that because of the ISO 500 problem. It's the D-Log profile. And then there's also the D-Cinelike profile. And now it's the question, why these two profiles? And so this is simply because these are the two flattest profiles you can get on the DJI drones. Of course, the D-Log is the flattest, but you don't only want to use the flattest profile. And let me explain here why. This is simply because you can have some problems when shooting with D-Log under the wrong conditions. So I, I told you in my last video about the ISO 500 problem that you should overexpose it a lot and that's true and it works very good in high contrast situations like let's say you film against the sun for a sunset or something and you still want to get some details in the shadows or stuff then yeah you have a pretty high contrast and you need to capture a lot of dynamic range to get all the details in it. And for this situation the D-Log profile is perfect there's no better profile for that but you're not only shooting on these conditions right like last um, or two weeks ago i've been to nusa lemongan i did the video here maybe you saw it on my channel it's very nice but i i wasn't the, the footage um, from the Phantom 4 Pro wasn't that good all the time and that was yeah, of course in one scene it got a bit there was a bit of a water fog in the air from the big waves so the camera got it and I couldn't see that on, on the camera so of course then it doesn't work so good but um, the other shots I, I were not that impressed simply because I used D-Log there and it was not a high contrast situation and when you um, look at the histogram then let's say here is zero and here is 100 then you have the histogram pretty far from each other like maybe it's starting around 20 or 25 and it's going up to 100 if you overexpose it a, a lot in D-Log and have a high contrast but um, in this situation there wasn't a high contrast and then the histogram looked like that like instead of from zero to 100 or a bit less it was shrinked pretty much and what that means is um, that we will get problems with the picture simply because of the image compression of the codec so like everyone knows on those videos we're not shooting in raw video or something like that the video is hardly compressed by h264 um, or later 265 yeah you can shoot that on some cameras especially the phantom 4 pro 2 but yeah it's at the moment it's not that good but yeah it's another topic um, yeah, and the problem here is that um, when it, it gets compressed, then the algorithm must look for pixels and find a way 
to, to, yeah, to compress it, to just make it smaller. And so let's say there are two pixels, one at each other. And um, one pixel is maybe the, the value 50 and the other pixel is the value 51. Then the algorithm, it can be that this algorithm thinks that both pixels are on equal and it just saves both pixel at 50 and then we lose detail. So yeah, and if you have a lot of dynamic range that you can see in the histogram, of course, then there are a lot of informations and through the log profile you actually get a lot more informations that you can use than you lose because of those compression. Sounds, um, sounds logical, I think. But now, like when the histogram shrinks together and then there is not so much information more and then it can be that you lose more information that it brings you. And like on, on this footage that I'm talking about now, for me, it doesn't look like real 4K footage uh, anymore. It looks more like a bit less than HD or something. And yeah, that's, I, I mean, I, I don't want to have my footage like that. So I need to do something about that. But of course you can um, underexpose or overexpose the footage a bit less while shooting. That's one option, but because of the ISO 500, it's more likely that you can get some more noise in the footage. So it's probably not the best idea. And a good solution here is simply to switch the color profile to the Cinelike. And yeah, I mean, the Cinelike is not as flat as the uh, D-Log, but in situations where it's not so much contrast, then you definitely get um, a lot of details there and it's, it's enough details to get nice shots. And that's why I, from now on, we use um, both color profiles. I mean, on the Mavic, I only used the Cinelike because D-Log wasn't so, so good at this times. But um, now on the Phantom 4 Pro, it's a different thing. And of course, it's still a new drone for me, so I need to get used to that. And yeah, I mean, I, I think this is just the best way to do it. Like your, the Cinelike uh, profile should be your main profile and in high contrast situation, just use the D-Log. So that's my explanation for that and why I use both profiles now. Like today, it's a sunny day and I was flying over some rice fields before and there's definitely not so much contrast in the picture. So I used the Cinelike and yeah, that's from one point it's easier to grade. And in this situation, it gives me better colors and more dynamic range. So yeah, just consider that when you're shooting and don't only use one profile, try a bit around like what camera do you have or what drone or whatever and yeah, play around with it and under what circumstances you get the best shots. It's definitely worth it to spend a day or two just to figure out all the profiles that you have on the camera. I mean, not all, but the usable ones, like the flat profiles. I mean, we're talking about making nice footage here and not like with your iPhone or something where you definitely don't need to do much color grading anymore. And yeah, I mean, when, when you then, then when you know which color profiles work best for you, then you're good to go. Then you know exactly how to handle your camera and how to get the best shots out of that. So I hope that helps you a bit and you get better footage in the future and don't have problems with the dynamic range anymore if you got it before, maybe with D-Log, if you use it a bit too much. So it's always a learning proce process. There's always something you can improve and definitely one thing you can always do is just go outside, film a bit, compare some profiles, compare some settings in your camera and then sit on your computer and look what works best. So. Yeah, I hope to see you in the next video and I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, just leave me a comment here or click on subscribe or like. Um, it helps my channel a lot to, to grow and then you can see a lot more videos in the future with nice tips about videography and travel. And of course, also a lot of very beautiful, nice videos here from Bali and all the other awesome places of the world. So see you in the next video then.